Western Review's 12 Days of Tradition. I'm Captain Rutledge, and these are my humble lodgings. The celebration of a holiday must only be temporary. If permanent, the whole celebration loses its effect. That is why certain foods are eaten at certain times of the year. So today, we're going to have a nice look at what's cooking during Christmas. The modern idea of a Christmas feast has its roots in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Dickens took staples from the great feasts of old and scaled them down for a single family. Among the dishes served were goose with stuffing, mashed potatoes, onions, punch, apples, oranges, roasted chestnuts, and a flaming Christmas pudding. The baked goods of Christmas time have origins in continental Europe. Gingerbread cookies originate in Bavaria. Yule log cakes come from France and are called Bouche de Noël. Fruit cakes have their own regional varieties. In Dresden, there is the Christole. In Italy, the Panforte and Panettone. And in Switzerland, the Brunnenbrot. Candy canes were created by the choirmaster at Cologne Cathedral as sweet sticks shaped like shepherd's crooks for the kids in his choir. To ward off the chill, hot drinks were created for Christmas time. Mulled wine, steeped with spices and fruits, is one of the most traditional drinks. Wassel is somewhat similar in style. In the American colonies, wine from Europe was very expensive, so Caribbean rum was used. Rum drinks were known as grog, and one grog recipe called for eggs and milk. It was called egg and grog, or eggnog. Every family has its traditional dishes during Christmas, and they all resemble togetherness and harmony. Tune in next time for a look at some smaller traditions that are still noteworthy. For Eastern Review, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.